Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're gonna do a couple more ornaments. Um, I just wanted to show you the ones from the last video all dry. Um, I put just a little bit of spray sealer on here. So I think that they actually dried quite nicely. They're really pretty. And I definitely got questions on what to seal them with. So one thing you can use is Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray or any other kind of spray, or you can just use a regular brush on varnish, or you can use resin. You also don't actually have to seal them with anything. You could just let them be by themselves. Totally up to you. Although if you do end up adding um, names or stickers or anything, I do recommend that you seal them because that will help that last for a very long time. So we're gonna do some new ones today with a different color scheme. Um, so I've got sand, I've got fairy dreams in here. I'm gonna use some turquoise. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints and they're pre-mixed, ready to go right out of the bottle. Here's some deep sea. Use a little bit of razzle dazzle and then a little bit of Merlot. I think this is going to be a really nice color combination. Definitely not your typical Christmas ornament color combo, but that's okay. I like to do things a little bit differently. So I'm putting enough in here to cover uh, the ornaments and the canvas. And then the canvas here, I have it up on a Lazy Susan, a cake spinner turn table thingy. All of those words. So, um, I think it'll be fun. We'll spin out the design and see what it creates. I'm gonna just get a little bit more paint in here and then we'll have some fun. I think that should be plenty. All right, and then uh, just to explain my setup. So I've got my, these are plastic by the way, and I've got these up on some silicone funnels. And if you saw my last video, which link will be in the description, these were covered in paint. So I was able to easily peel it off and I actually have those skins to be used for future projects if I want. This is a round canvas and it's on top of this. And underneath it, I have just some double-sided sticky tape holding it on to there. So let's go ahead and pour these. I'm gonna pour kind of fast. I'm putting these funnels right next to each other. And keep in mind, you can stop pouring on the ornaments once you're happy with them, or you can just keep going and you can come back to them and add more paint. Totally up to you. I like to kind of add some paint and then let them sit for a little bit to see if I like it or if I want to add more. Like here, I wanted some Merlot there. And these are a little dark, so I'm going to add just a little more. You can, of course, do whatever colors you want. Do what makes you happy. So if my colors don't make you happy, don't stress, you can do your own. There we go, I like that. So I'm gonna let those drip down and I'm gonna pour the rest of my paint down here. Now, another thing is I reuse all of this paint. So even any paint that comes off of here onto my table, I reuse that as well. So don't worry about waste. Okay, we're gonna let those drip down for just a little bit and then I'll take the ornaments off and then we'll spin this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just carefully lift up by the funnel. These are really light. Set it to the side. Let's just set it over here. Okay, I'm gonna move it out of the way of my spinner so that I don't ruin my beautiful ornaments got eyeballs. So I'm going to press down here just a little bit just to fill in some of those spots, especially when you're moving something on a spinner. If there's any blank canvas, uh, the paint will basically just go the opposite direction. So this will help it get filled in a bit more. Plus, it's just funny. Look at that design. It's like, ah. <laughs> okay, let's try spinning it and see what happens. I love this. Actually, I'm going to tilt. Tilt just a little bit and then spin. Because we definitely are uh, have more paint over on this side. And I shouldn't need to spin this a lot. Spin it a couple times probably will be fine. Okay, almost, almost. Getting there. Push this down a little bit. And then we've got this spot over here. 
I'm gonna help this here. Paint likes to flow where the paint is already. I'm gonna give it probably two more spins and then I think we're good. And one more. Excellent, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let this sit here for just a little bit, see if anything else develops, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Okay, so here we go. It's been sitting for a little while. I'm in love with these colors. Now no white in here whatsoever. So it is a little bit darker than it would be otherwise, um, but that sand color definitely helped. And then I love these ornaments. Look how pretty. So those will look gorgeous when sealed. And of course, non-traditional <laughs> holiday colors, but that's okay. No requirement to stick to the huge. All right, you guys. Really hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Check down in the description for all of the materials and I will see you all next time.